Hey guys, here's Hasbro's Megazord. And then look at the Megazord on the other side. Man, that one looks like a Megazord. I match. Hey guys, so here's Hasbro's Megazord. What if I told you this one could look exactly like that one? And that, that one is this one. All right, so how did I do it? First, I got decals from BD15 Decals and Props. That's gonna make a huge difference. I'll put a direct link in the video description and discount promo code MMPRTOYS at checkout. Or just click the link and I think it automatically applies. So in addition to the replacement decals, I also painted my Megazord as well. And it was really easy to do. Just look at the difference in the Mastodon shield alone. Actually, first first, I got some cheapy makeup brushes. Because, you know, I want to look nice. No, not for me. It's actually <laughs> to clean the Megazord. If your Megazord is dusty, dust it. Take your makeup brush and just, shoop. Paintbrush will work too. Just like that. Can of air. That also helps. So then if you're gonna do some painting, get your screwdriver and unscrew the Zords. Yellow was easy and didn't give me any trouble. Being able to isolate things that are different colors makes it really easy. You can just spray things one color and be done with it pretty quickly. The hollow legs kind of bother me. Anyone else? I'm sure there are many different options to fix that. The only thing that I have downstairs at the moment is this resin. It's a fast cast resin. It's a two part resin. You mix equal parts of A with equal parts of B, put them together, stir, and then just pour it into the, uh, into the thing that you're trying to not have be ugly. <laughs> what am I trying to say here? You know what I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna let that do its thing now. It's gotta dry for 10 minutes-ish. For the legs, I did 15 milliliters in each cup, so total of 30, but 15A, 15B, combine, stir, pour. 10 minutes later, it's ready. Looks like that worked. It's hard, it's dry. Hopefully I'll be able to put this back together. This looks pretty good, right? I'll paint it though. This resin dries white when it's done, not clear. And right after it's cured, you can use your blade to trim it a bit if you need to, but as it dries more or cures more, it's gonna get harder, and then that's not gonna really be possible. Then it's time for spray paint. So all the gray, I did silver, Rust-Oleum metallic silver. I can probably link to all these things. I'm sure I can find them. I'll put them in the video description. Red gloss, Sabertooth Tiger was gloss, golden sunset. These are just what I had in the basement. So like I didn't go and specifically buy anything for this project. You know, you, you don't have to necessarily use what I used, but if you want to know, that is what I used. I painted the wheels black. It really needed that. starting to look like something. The legs look a lot better, but we're not done. Now I'm peeling off Hasbro stickers, which came off surprisingly easy. Usually I end up having to use a hairdryer and then later goo gone, and then I'm scratching it with my fingernails and stuff like that. This just peeled off. Now I'm taking the head apart. This color yellow really bothered me. There, gloss golden sunset, much better. Look how much better that looks, yes. Mastodon head before, Mastodon head after. What a difference. Now I'm unscrewing the head, I'm gonna take the gray pieces downstairs and make them silver too. Much better. Same deal with pterodactyl, took everything off, sprayed it red. Even like this, look how much better it's looking. Much, much better. Now, unfortunately, some of the Zords are harder to take apart entirely, like they're missing a screw thing. It's like, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but I, I couldn't take it apart all the way, so I had to do some masking. I really wanted the, the Megazord thighs to be silver. Totally forgot, the Megazord tail comes off, so that was kind of, there. You, you could take that off. I forgot to do that, or I forgot that it did that, I guess. I, I didn't do anything with the tail yet. Also, if you take the tail off, it gives it a little bit more posability. And also, another good thing to know about the decals is if you did want to paint your Megazord, it's going to be a lot harder not to ruin the stickers and some of the existing paint if you're spray painting. You might be able to mask some of it, but like Sabertooth Tiger, you're going to have to take that sticker off to take the head apart. So if you can take it off without ruining it, you know, it makes it a lot easier if you could just spray it and then apply new decals. 
And in some cases, I mean, Hasbro really didn't give you that many stickers anyway. Yeah, big improvement. Here's Mastodon before and after, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, and Tyrannosaurus. Pretty big difference. Yeah, look at that. This is the new Triceratops that just came from Amazon. This is already peeling. Some of you guys might remember back in 2014, I did another decals and props video for my Super Mega Force toys. And once again, huge, huge difference. The one on the left is of course the before and the one on the right is after. So this was already seven years ago. These Zords have spent about three years in a garage that can be in the triple digits for most of the year, and then a couple years where we had winters here in Pennsylvania. So how have these decals been holding up? Perfect. No peeling at all. Not one of them is peeling. That's uh, really on there, huh? Wow, those crazy people on Amazon are asking $979.95 for the Legacy Megazord. Only two left, order soon. So you guys might remember back in the day, I said don't wait on your Legacy Megazord, get it now, because it's gonna be a fortune later. Well, now it's later, now it's a fortune, so I'm gonna say the same thing with the Hasbro Megazord. Don't wait on your Hasbro Megazord, get it now, because later it's going to be a fortune. You could be upset over something not looking as good as you wanted it to, or you can fix it. It's a really easy project. Don't be like me, I try to rush everything. I thought I could have this video done in a day, and then I, I ended up just having to repaint things, so I kept touching everything when it was wet, and then I would have to go back over it because I ruined things. <laughs> so let things dry. I think Sabertooth Tiger, it was like two, three days before it was really dry, and I applied the stickers within hours of having painted it, so take your time. Oh, before I go, the box set is an Amazon exclusive. That is the way to go. You might be able to get the Megazord on clearance at Walmart if you're lucky. My Walmart doesn't do that. Most Walmarts are pretty bad about stocking things, but it's not the box set. You would get them individually at Walmart. So if you want the box, if you like the box art, Amazon, direct link in the video description. The contents are identical. There's no additional paint or stickers. It's exact same thing, but you get a box and you pay about $10 less. So Amazon exclusive is the way to go. Direct link in the video description. Don't wait until this sells out and gets expensive. Get it now. Right? I say this every year, people always wait, and then, where's the Thunder Megazord? What happened to the Shout Factory DVDs? Get it now. <laughs> right? Don't wait, get it now. Hold on, I wanna see what Legacy Titanus is going for these days. Whew, but okay, 725, this one sold for. Trending at 850, yikes. Wow, yeah, these are these are going between five, six, seven hundred dollars. Don't wait. Get it now. I remember saying this years ago, originally 200, then it went down to like 175, and then I think at one point it was like 150. I was like, get your legacy Titanus now. Well, <laughs> those of you guys that did either have something that's worth a lot or, you know, making some good money selling it. So I'm saying it again. Listen to Bruno. Bruno knows what he's talking about. Get it now if you want it. Don't buy it if you don't want it, but if you want it, get it now. Either it'll be worth something later, which would be good for reselling, or if you want it later, you won't be paying those prices. See what I'm saying? At the same time, this is not the fanciest Megazord. It looks really good now that it's been painted and stickered, which I definitely recommend if you're not good at painting. Just the stickers alone, those make a huge difference. Do I think this is kind of a cheap Megazord, but kind of expensive? Absolutely. I, I still feel the exact same way I did in the September 2020 video, but I really do love the articulation. Once it's painted and, and decaled, I think it looks a lot better. It actually looks really fancy now. It, it looks like a pretty legit Megazord. I think 39 is a lot more fair than closer to 50 or 60 or 70, which people are asking for on eBay. And people are paying because they're not watching our videos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, pros and cons. That's usually the case with things. But, I mean, the articulation is... You couldn't do this with previous Megazords until you were paying... I mean, even the the uh, Super Mini Plow is like 100 bucks, you know? And you have to build that yourself. When I say build, I mean like every little individual piece. So, pros and cons, which I thought is what people wanted in an honest review is, here's what I love, here's what I don't like, here's what's good, what's bad, my thoughts, opinion, you know, compared to other similar things and costs, yada, yada. I don't know. I don't know why that video made people so angry, but $50 is a lot for this, whether you like it or not, whether you like the Megazord or not, 
that's a lot. 40, I think we're getting closer to being a fair price. And then once, you know, once he's painted and stickered, looks good. He can kind of stand next to the SOC Megazord and look nice. Uh, Mia has a saber tooth tiger. She's using it for a thing. I mean, this is obviously way more fancy and heavy and yada yada, but I mean, if you just look at them, they, they look pretty similar now. In fact, this one, thanks to the decals and my markers, has some additional detail that this one does not. And also, not gonna break. I would not do that with this one. Well, maybe it will break, I don't know. <laughs> but, I, you know, I'm less afraid to do that. I would not do that with this. All right, I'm gonna end here. We'll be back with lots more good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Good night. You fools are finished. This is it over. Here goes Murky! You're worthless! They're so going to build you by a twist.